And hello people, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now you may have noticed that my equipment is slightly different. That's right, I actually got the sword. Oh my god, it took such a long time to grind for this. Uh, about half an hour, not really actually that long, but you know. I couldn't, I had to take off the armor, uh, the Lotric set because it's been way too heavy to use it in conjunction. And, well, basically it just can't really do equip anything else, so... I might could equip these rings to equip the fire weapon, but at the moment I don't see much use for it because the new area doesn't seem to have a need for fire weapons, but yeah. It's the same same exact uh, movesets as the other long story, but with one difference. The other one was a, like a charging slashing attack, and this one is a frost. Which is actually, I like this much a lot better, and it's faster too. And of course, before we start to do anything, there's one thing that w I must do. Perfect. Oh hey, look, the Crestfall Warrior is back. Hello, dude. At the foot of Lothric Castle, an old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. I? It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it the leads. underwater sewer that I was. If you've the stones. Oh please, I've gone through it already, mate. <laughs> At the foot uh, of the okay. <laughs> Dialogue just repeats. Andre, the sexy, sexy man, hammering at that sword. Mmm, sexy. Anyways. Let's head back to the place where the stupid aimbot shoots. Oh, he's gonna be annoying, that's for sure. <laughs> How the hell does an arrow in mid air, a freaking giant arrow, home in on you? That's complete bullshit. Now, I'm walking this way because there's one part I forgot to actually visit. Hi, Rax. I'm here, bitch. Die. Where's the other rat? Oh shit, right here. Hey rats, where are you going? Come and find me. Whoop. And finish. The place I forgot to check was the other little part that w before I entered this cave. Oh god. Okay, good. Bye. God damn. Oh. Wow, that sucked. God damn dogs. Yeah, I forgot to visit uh the that part that part across this little bridge. And the goddamn fire bomb dudes are back. God damn it, man. I heard something. I heard a twop sound. To be honest, I actually haven't even gone up there and tried to open the door, did I? I think I did. I don't know. My memory sucks. Excuse me. Oh god. Ow, stupid. You fat ass. Ow. Please just die. Jesus Christ, she is disgusting. No worries. I actually didn't check to see if I can open this door. There's an been from inside. Great, thanks, excellent. Freaking shit. Transposing Clint lies in the belly. Okay. Ah, oh, loot. Not that it's gonna be anything useful. Eh, we're okay, who cares. But yeah, this little village. 
Because I was supposed to find this old lady Loretta, I still haven't found her yet. God damn those stupid groaning zombies upstairs. So annoying. Hey up, mate. What the? And then he takes out the freaking hacksaw. Oh my god. Goodbye. Oh my god, what the hell, dude? Please don't throw that. You're a lot easier without the stupid thingy. God damn it. Alright. Oh shit. Come here. Yeah, goodbye, mate. Ooh, item. A great machete. Oh. Is he gonna come over here? Yes, he is. Gonna clear him out first. Come here, mate. Come on. Parry? Nope. Parry? Parry? God damn it. Come on, parry. Alright. Just wasting health here. Anyways, what's that thing that I picked up? The Great Machete. This Great Machete has a slash attack and is a worker's tool in the under settlement. This dismantling tool was not originally intended for use in battle. The sounds around just freaks me out. Holy shit. Oh my god. This seems like a pretty interesting weapon. Hmm. But, I don't care. The reason why I got the sword is because I like it. Make no mistake, the scimitar seems a fine mighty weapon. Oh, there is. I was like, who's that over there? And then suddenly, oh, right, it was all those bastards. Time to poke him off. Goodbye. Oh my god. That pot over there is just filled with body pieces. It's disgusting. Okay, I'm only down to one flask now. I need to play a bit more careful. I thought I could just poke him at all. I hear something. Oh, hi, dog. Hi, dogs. Jesus Christ. Are they guarding something? Yes, they were. Hello. Alluring skulls. Of course. Before I came into this village, they were lured by there were two dogs by a dead body that has lurid skulls, and this one's the same. Is their name as well? No. Is this progress? There's somebody over there. He sat down with a pretty scary ass weapon, as I can see. He's tapping his foot. I see a good dude. I can't target him, so yeah, he's a good dude. Oh man, look at him. Oh, he wasn't tapping his foot, it was just uh, the cloth that was flipping. Did I see loot down there? There is loot down there. Am I actually supposed to? No, I don't want to. Mm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? Aye, what are you, mate? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm, no matter. Heed my Look at words. That weapon. If you've any sense, you'll go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. 
If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Oh, I know, mate. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. I love how he's just referencing to Dark Souls in general. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? If like the others, you'll think. <laughs> oh, thanks for the dialogue, I guess. There's loot down there. But how do I get set loot? Maybe? I should really use this crossbow because I got it from, you know, killing those bastards and it's actually pretty good. How do I aim again? I don't know how aim. Aim? I guess I'm not getting it. <laughs> or maybe you can't do it with a crossbow. Anyways. I hear a lot of sounds coming from this goddamn church. Door can't open. Oh, door can't open. Urgh. Um, I saw this little path here, and that seems progress. So I'm gonna walk over here. There's somebody in there. Doesn't open from the side, of course. Yes. So this is progress here. Those some inside sign sounds. All right. Ah, look at this church. Look at all those candles. Just these, these unkind. Hey, 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 hey! What the? F Hello? Onion bro? Wait. What the? What? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, what? How are you still alive? Hmm. 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 Oh. Pardon me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegfeld. Oh my God. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if I'm not oh. mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense... No, 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 no. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down... No, it doesn't. And, uh, mm. Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Oh mm. my god. This lift, with a little warming up, eventually... No. I know exactly no. how to get up there, but... I've got to use my head and think. Mm. It's a two-part mm. elevator. This lip with a lip, I got to you. Hmm. Hmm. This. Oh no! What do I do? I swear that if I go, if I take this lift down, he's gonna take it up and then just die. This with a. Uh, I know this is gonna go down to the basement and then loop back around to where the door was locked and. Oh, please, Onion Bro, don't take the left. Don't take the left. Don't take the left. Alright. Anything here? 
This seems to be like a very huge ass room with nothing much into it actually. Death? Time for revenge. Oh dear. Try fire. I know sometimes I should stop reading those things because it really kind of spoils some stuff, but if they say try fire. Oh. Is that what it was? That's been doing what? Ember. Is this fort? Jesus Christ, dude. Ow. Fuck. No. Shit, man. Oh, God damn it. I got hit. I got cornered into a stupid pillar. <sighs> I almost finished him off, too. Bullocks. So since I died down there, now the elevator should be, you know, going up a bowl? Or did he actually reset it? Ah, uh, Onion Bro is gone. Wait. I want to go down. Hmm. What the hell? I just heard Onion Bro's voice. Onion Bro? It was like right over here somewhere. He's right. Oh, yeah. hmm. Wait, what? What? I, I, I am confused. Did anybody see him? Anybody see him? Anybody see him? Hmm. I hear him, but I can't see him anywhere. His what? Maybe his voice is just projecting over here. But anyways, I'm off to kill this bastard now. Um, I can't target him. I can't talk to him. So this is a dude that has been throwing those giant ass spear. It was not even ballistic. It's someone throwing it at me. Holy shit. Wait a second. That bow. Are you? It can't be. You're ugly as hell. Who are you? Make peace. I help any time. I help any time. Can you please stop throwing spears at me, Dan? I help. No, so I'm shooting. They're not. They're, they are arrows, but they're freaking humongous. Jesus Christ, man. Now, Onion Bro, what? How? Am I supposed to jump off at the ledge? Do I do it? Oh! Ah. Running past all these fat guys because I just don't give a damn right now. Are they going to chase? Holy shit, he's going to chase. I don't really care. Bye. Now where is that little platform? Here it is. Hmm. How do I get down later though? <laughs> That's the big question. On in, bro. Bro? I hurt. Oh, here he is. Holy shit. Where are we?
Mm. Mm. Ah, oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. What? I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> Good for you. How the heck did you get up here? On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought. Then somehow ended up. How? Here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. How? Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous. Holy beast? shit, now that you mentioned, I do. I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? I could try talking some sense into no. it. No! No, I think not. He's far too overheated. <laughs> I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Which is funny, because he doesn't actually have a break. He doesn't have a brain. I could try. I All right now. It's also his dialogue. Where am I supposed to go? Falling down there means death. I guess I gotta jump down here. And they loot. I wanna go back down there. Shit, I gotta fight that thing. Shit. Can I use this to like, you know, cool them off? Cause it's supposed to like, cool things off according to what it says. Oh, balls. Here we go. No! You should have waited! For what? Well, it's too late now. I seek word of the Knights of Katarina. Oh no, please side. don't die. Ah! Holy shit! Oh shit, I hit under bro. Heal please. Can I cut off his tail? Please just die. Oh did it. Fire jam. Oh. That was quite a performance. You bet. But you mustn't get in over your There's head. no other way. We unkindled must put our Aren't you supposed to be hollowed? But for the moment, we've a toast to make. Sigbre. To your valor, my sword, and our victory to Yeah. Can I drink it? Long may the sun shine. Yeah, praise the sun. <laughs> I wish I could actually praise the sun right now. Toast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna point. Whoops. Wrong thing. I was gonna switch that. To. There we go. Point. Toast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like hold, hold nothing in his hand, or can I actually hold something in my hand and do it. I wonder. No, there's not a weapon I could use the whole what to do it. Um, not. How about let's see what it is. Sigbre. Oh, restores health and boosts frost resist. Special brew of special brew of Sigward of Katarina. Perfect for travel in its jolly barrel mug. Restores health. Leave it to Sigward to discover a drink that even an undead can enjoy. Perhaps his long years spent undead had left him wanting. To drain a cup or two and revel 
as if he were still among the living. Ah, uh, onion bro. Well, I'm going to have myself a little Here? nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice I toast. Yes. <laughs> he fell asleep. Oh my god. That was fast. Oh, I killed that thing. Thank god. This way seems progress. So, I will not advance progress way because... Where the hell am I? Holy shit. I wanted to go down, go back down that basement and kill that frost thing, and then I just end up getting my ass killed. Oh, what I could have done was just step on a stupid elevator and just jumped off. Could it? Brain. How do I get that? Get those things, though. How do I aim with a freaking arrow? I don't. Oh, like that maybe. I can do it with a bow. There we go. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh new armor. Let's check it out. Where is it? Northern Helm. This somehow reminds me from freaking Elder Scrolls. I'm sorry, but you know. Iron Helm of a stalwart Northern warrior. Engraved with an ornate pattern. Iron defensive wear grants superior stability. Being from the north, it should also offer resistance to the cold. I'm gonna wear the entire set to see how it looks like. Northern armor. Same thing. Supported by interwoven chainmail. So the northern stuff seems to be lighter and offers greater amount against the... Uh, Frost, but has way lesser poise and offensive capabilities, of course, naturally. Oh, yeah. I still like my iron helmet better. I don't know, what do you guys think about this armor? Seems pretty cool. You know what? I'll wear it for a while. Because it gives me like a massive boost in resistances. Like on bleed, which I'm died a couple times to it. And quite frankly, it gives me more against strike and the resistances are like not that big of a difference, so yeah, it's definitely worth you know changing to this out for all the all the amount of resistances I'm getting instead. Oh man! Ooh, another one. I need a, I need more arrows. I need to go buy more later. Or do I have other kinds? Nope. Don't think I actually be needing these stupid arrows. I'm sorry, but they're not stupid. I'll pretend I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Pale tongue. Pale tongue. Proof of invaders' victory over a host of embers. Claiming tongues as trophies was originally the practice of an infamous troop Trippe of invaders who offered them to their speechless goddess. Oh my god. So invaders come kill other players and take their tongue. What the f This game is scary. A large club. Oh, it wasn't progress. I could just jump down from there and just come loop back around. 
Oh, maybe I was supposed to do this? I was... I, it was not even a ledge that jumped down and just walked back up. I want to go back in there later and kill that thing. Man, this church. Before we were over... There. Yeah, we were over there, right? And then we just progressed all the way over here. Man, such a long way. Can I please fight a bonfire by now? Thanks, game. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there's nothing else here? Alright. Alright, before I saw something, like these stupid cages moving. Pay real close attention to these caves and whether or not they still move. This loot seems like... Holy shit, look at above. Oh my god, this feels like an ambush. Red bug pellets. Holy crap, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is so... This is horrific! Any bass is gonna move? Oh, Jesus Christ. That one's clearly moving. I wish I can do something. Maybe I can. This great club needs 22 strength. Hello! Ow. Goodbye, Mike. Hello! Down you go! And goodbye. That was perfect. Now let's see what's they're guarding. A luring skull. Bleh. Alright. I remember I saw more of the bastards. Oh my gosh. Scary. Yeah, here's one. Ow. Oh my god. Fading souls. Wow, five of them. Uh, these guys sat here for the rest until the end of their miserable lives. Okay. So we have seeds in us, and when we die, they just they start growing out of us. That's so weird. Oh, hi, dog. Dog. Come on. Dodge. How did you not hit me? I hear something. Hello? I hear some heavy breathing sounds. Must be from up there. Okay, before I check that chest, I'm gonna go check up here. Cause I hear some heavy ass... What the f... What the shit? Oh god. Oh shit, dodge please. Oh Jesus Christ, what the hell? Then they instantly lose interest. Oh, 
Can you please die? Jesus Christ, these guys are scary. Ah, <sighs> well, they're dead. Chest, is, check this chest. It's fine. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> Human pine resin? Wait, what? Charcoal pine resin rotted with the human fluids. Temporary applies dark to right hand weapon. Normally used in the undead settlement for preservations and burials, but can mature into this state, becoming a valuable substance used in a certain ceremony. Often seen at trade at exorbitant prices. Yeah, they melted us into freaking. Oh my god, I'm not gonna. Oh my god. Freaking, eh, it seems safe. And then. So that's what all the breeding was. It was like just right above, I didn't even notice. Man. Onion bro still sleeping. I want to get back to that tower, but I guess I'll do it some other time. Because this seems to be the way of freaking progress. Without a goddamn bonfire for quite a long while now. Oh, found loot. Hey, loot. Flynn's ring. Ah, well, this was where we down there. We were there, and da -da -da -da. we were over there, and then we jumped across. Blah 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 blah, and then that cathedral. I need to go back down to the cathedral. Go down to the basement. Anyways, Lloyd's Flynn's ring. Lloyd's ring. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Lowering equip load increases attack. Ring of Flynn, the illegalized thief. Lowering equip load increases attack power. Flynn fought with the wind on his side and was a hero among the weak and poor. Yet even his admirers knew that it was a little more than an idyllic fable. Ah. So I get more damage as my weight goes down. This might be an actual pretty good thing to just like use around with. Can I check to see? Ah, it doesn't tell. Maybe if I... Ah, there we go. It, show, it shows. Well, it's pretty useless right now. Because I need to like, lose a lot of weight. I guess it's for people who like to use like low, little less armor, but not me. I prefer to fight with more power. But I might as well equip it anyways. It might just give me like 0.1 damage. I guess I need to go down that way. Is there anything else here? No. Alright. Let's not actually fall off to our deaths, yeah? There we go. Ow. Can I please get a bonfire yet? Hear thumping sounds. Homeward bones. Oh no, is this kind of thing shit again? Morphy <laughs> wing. Mira vest, Mira. 
Oh, balls. Garb worn by Mariah Knights sent on journeys. This hard leather vest is bestowed only upon proven knights. Knights travel far to fill their sacred duties, but few are ever able to deliver on their vows. Oh, snap. Oh. Ooh. I'm so ashen cold. I'm really just so burnt. Like I just don't know if there's a way to actually make you not so burnt because the whole point was to make you you know not as burnt anyways uh what else did i get i got also got the mirage gloves hmm. i don't know Seems like a pretty good armor. Feels kind of out of place with my helmet, though. Is there anything I could use to? No, nothing really. How about this? No. All right, this may look awkward, but once you look at it long enough, it won't be. Actually, what is this difference? Gives me poison resistances and a hell of a lot less poise. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna keep using this thing. But yeah, people from Mirage here. Cool. I just love that this this combines Dark Souls one and two now. It's just really great because Dark Souls two is just like references, but doesn't really reference to anything. Oh, so now I just come back down here. So what's the r real point of me going up there? The door's still locked, right? Well, I got three flasks now. I should be able to kill it. Hope so. So much weight. Might as well unclip that too. Since I don't really need it right now. Alright, might. Alright, this goes down, right? Yes. Going down. Oh. And what I think I need to also do is to change out my shield for one that gives me magic resistances, right? 63, 52. I think this one's the best one out of all, though. I don't know. Is he just straight up magic damage or sh like half and half? Oh wait, I don't need to actually use that weapon. What am I doing? Just need to do this. There we go. I was ho I hope when you infuse a weapon, you get these cool ass effects on your weapons. Be cool. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Oh shit. Come on, mate. Oh god. Holy shit, that dash, dude. No! He was one hit away from dying. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Round three.
Oh, the dark damage does shit tons of damage, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, just die. Ah, oh, it frail straight sword. Ah, oh, what is this? Straight sword bestowed upon the outrider knights of Boral Valley. This weapon is shrouded in frost and causes frostbite. Every outrider knight one day devolves into a beast, constantly hounded by Pontiff Sullivan's black eyes. Ah, <sighs> let's check this. Ooh. Oh, I like. I do like. Same thing as a long sword. The additional effects: frost damage. I do like it. I do. I really do. And it has higher base damage as well. Oh, excuse my steam there. Like, oh man, I don't know what to do now. These, this sword looks amazing. It's basically a nice sword, but this, I love this sword. I love it. I'm just alternate between using them, and I'm not out of flosses. I knew. I thought I was gonna go to a place I thought I was, but this is unexpected. Where the hell am I? Is there no other paths? I really like the false effects. Where in the world am I now? A bonfire. Road of sacrifices. Alright. New place, new place. But that's not where we're going. Oh no. We want to go into the church. And first we make it back to the Undead Settlement. So hopefully now let's see if the stupid giant will actually stop shooting at me. Hey you bastard. Catch the frost. Can you freeze? Goodbye. This sword has quite a good base damage in comparison. Anyways, back to using my sword. Alright, can they please not shoot at me this time? Kill them, please. I see him notching up. There we go. Jesus Christ, man. He shoots like. I think he's using a giant bolt from like. Uh, what's his name? Go? Go? Goff? I forgot his name. But yeah, he's not shooting at me now, so that's fantastic. Oh, he's shooting at these guys now. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god! You missed. Oh my god! He's missing that. He can hit me with pinpoint accuracy, but he can't hit these guys. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Hey, whip dude, or whatever you are. Yeah. Stab. Hulk. How to use my ice sword. Yeah. Love it, this weapon. Whoop. Great scythe. Isn't that just a farmer's tool? Yeah. Attacks with this large scythe. Normally used for crop harvesting, are effective 
Ah, freaking past cars. Ah. Next swipe. This attack aims for the scruff of a foe's neck and when successful, functions as a headshot, inflicting heavy damage. Ooh. Not that I really care, though. Nope. Okay, don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of scythes. They are amazing, cool looking weapons, but I prefer swords. I'm heading into the church now, I think. This is, is the, this is the church, right? Yeah, this has to be. It feels churchy with all these uh, candles. And see the flowers, the flowers. Oh, could these flowers have something to do with the boss? It has to be, right? Look at all these summon signs. <laughs> if this isn't the boss, I don't know what is. Like, look at all these summon signs. If this isn't the boss, it, it's just no way that it isn't. An opening door to here. Alright. Should I the hell? Actually, I'm gonna take a look at this shit first. There is a big, giant, ugly-ass thing over there, and these things are worshipping it. Goddamn summon symbols. I'm going to top ball first. Whoops. And then use this. All right, here we go. Man, look at this place. It's beautiful. That freaking tree. All these flowers. Oh, you guys are st oh enemies. He's burning. Oh shit, he's active now. Can I please look at him? What the shit? Yeah, that's like kill your own friends. He's not doing damage. Anybody need to hit the likes? No. Maybe the bulbous piece of sack over there? Hmm. Um. Let's see. How to... Okay, first I'm gonna try... Attacking this sack here. Yes. Is that bulbous sack over there? His balls, literally. Where the heck did you guys come from? Come here, Mike. Oh, they're falling from above. Holy shit. No, I don't want to. Oh, I also noticed something. Oh yes, yes. So I gotta destroy all those bubbles. Whoa there! <gasps> oh my God! Please don't die. Oh thank God, this is the next phase. Ah, uh, that's poison. Hunger bone. Stop putting poison out, please. Thanks. This is just disgusting.
literally is. Is there any place I can hit? Come on. There we go. Gotta hit. This boss fight seems pretty easy, dude. Ah, uh, his arm got something. Come on, just break that thing on his arm. There we go. Has an actual arm now? What the hell? Goodbye. One more hit. There we go. Ow. Wait, he, I was like, he's not dead yet. Woo! That was easy. Soul of the Rotted Great Wood Transposing Clin? Kill him. Alright, let's check out the stuff that we got. The Soul of the Rotted Great Wood. One of the twisted souls stepped in strength, of course. Ever since its establishment, all manners of curses have been have managed to seep into the undead settlement. The worst of them were sealed away inside a spirit tree, but eventually the curses took their toll. Oh, snap. So... This tree is like a holy tree that took in all the curses, but even, even a bottle can be filled someday, and thus became that most interesting. Now there's another one other item I just got, transposing. This says reinforced transposed weapons plus four, and I got something that does something like that. An old transposing clin of from Corland, crafted with stitched crystal lizard hide. Ah, this crystal lizard that we killed earlier and the other stuff. Give to Ludef, Ludlef, Lord of Cinder to conduct soul transposition. This clin can transpose twi twisted souls to craft special items with the concentrated essence. Ah, that's how I get the weapons from the bosses. Deemed forbidden by those unable to make proper use of it. Oh man. Holy shit, dude. Oh, that was pretty easy. All, all things considered. Law, war guard, war god, wooden shield. Holy shit, tower shield. Wooden shield reinforced with metal. This, the bizarre pattern featured on this on the shield is the mark of a mad god, revered as a god of war in the remote regions. Mm. Meh, does not seem cool. My shield cooler. There we go. When did this guy fall down here? Is he the one that dropped the shield? I think so. Yeah, it has to be, right? Well, I think that does it for this video. My name has been Lazy Joe. This has been Dark Souls 3. And I'll see you all on the next video. Goodbye! Fret not, fret not, my feet are here firmly planted, for I am a lord, and this is my throne. Listen, this might pique thine interest. Before I was a lord of cinder, I was a student of transposition, the process of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. A forbidden art that once left a foul stain upon Corlin's honor. Tis an art that grants powers once thought unattainable. Most transposing kilns were lost with Corland, but this place is a crossing for all manner of cursed objects. If thou happenst upon a transposing kiln, bring it to me, quick. Listen, with the A, Moon, if... Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but 
methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and in transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition? 